William Millen here from GetMoreSports.com, and our Recruit and Reload series moves on to the Butler Bulldogs, who lose two stalwarts of this program ever since Brad Stevens left. Uh, you were talking about Kellen Dunham and Roosevelt Jones whenever you talked about the Butler Bulldogs. Now, these guys are a couple of the winningest players in recent college basketball history. These guys have been absolutely prolific in their careers at Butler. And yet now, they move on. So we have to look at the next generation of Butler Bulldogs, led by Chris Holtman, uh, to see who was going to kind of step up into that role and be a household name for the Bulldogs moving forward. The first name that you think about has to be Keelan Martin. Uh, this is a guy who a lot of people considered as the year went on to be Butler's best player and most consistent player. Uh, absolutely dynamic. Uh, a guy who, obviously, he was the third wheel for much of the season uh, in terms of both the focus of opponents and obviously I think the focus of the coaching staff at Butler, they really wanted Dunham and Roosevelt Jones to lead this team. But Martin continued to make plays uh, as the year progressed and continued to improve to the point where I think we can look forward to Butler's uh, year next year and really have a lot of optimism regarding Keelan Martin. Now, they also bring in a solid recruiting class. This is headlined by Joey Brunk, uh, a talented 6'10 center. Uh, this guy is ranked as a four-star player, according to multiple recruiting sources. Uh, a top 100 recruit, uh, a local Indiana guy, should give them the kind of talent inside that they haven't had since the Brad Stevens days, and maybe even more talented than they had under his leadership. will be very interesting to see what kind of Butler team we see next year, but Keelan Martin will be the key no matter what.